For the cantilever beam shown, draw the shear and moment diagrams. This is the first example for the shear and bending moment diagrams main video. You can find the link to that video and other examples in the description below. To draw these diagrams, we first need to know all the external loads including their reaction loads. And for that, we need to draw a free body diagram. Like always, we assume all reaction forces and moments to be positive. A sum of moments about A would have three positive counterclockwise moments B equal to zero. The reaction moment at A, MA, is therefore negative and clockwise. A sum of forces in Y shows us that the reaction force at A is 100 pounds. The shear diagram with an x-axis in feet and a y-axis in pounds would go down by 100 at C, remain the same till A, and go up by AY at A. The bending moment diagram with the x-axis in feet and the y-axis in pound feet would begin at zero since there are no external or reaction couples at C, have a slope of minus 100 for 5 feet till it reaches B, reaching a value of minus 100 times 5, go down by 800, down to minus 1300, because remember, in the bending diagram, we plot the reaction internal moments caused by the external loads, so a positive couple of 800 pound-feet causes a clockwise and therefore negative reaction that moves the bending plot downward, and then with the same slope of minus 100 from B to A, we subtract another 500 pound-feet, reaching a value of minus 1800 pound-feet. At A, we find the reaction moment MA that is actually negative and therefore clockwise, which would cause a reaction that is positive and therefore counterclockwise that we plot in our bending moment diagram going up. For more shear and moment diagrams examples, as well as the other lectures of the statics course, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.